I want to speak about something and don't get offended because look, I am not here to slander or to look down upon people and stuff like that. I am just trying to help people so you can get to heaven. So I don't have time to, you know, look down on people and see myself as this great person and look at you like an ant. No, I am not like that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> to be honest, I never wanted to really help people at first, back in the past, I really did not want to help people with things of God. I wanted to stay to myself and do my own thing and wait until I died and go to heaven. Because <laughs> not everyone, but the more people you help, wow. <laughs> you will really see how some people really are seriously but anyways what I usually do I would you know read a scripture to you and explain it to you but let me do it like this here I have been reading more and more of the comment section and Many people are having similar issues. Yes, the problems may be different, but like the format is pretty much the same. For instance, let's say Jane is having this problem and Bob is having this problem and Sue is having this problem. Yes, they may be going through different problems, but I guess the best word to use, the format is similar. Now, they may have different problems, but the way that they can solve their problems it's by serving God. Now, people don't like, well, some people don't like to hear that. Like, hey, you need to stop sinning and serve God. Some people hate hearing that. But you have to know, when you choose to sin, curses are being thrown at you. So, what is a curse? Well, basically, curses are bad things, right? For instance, will God bless you with depression? No. <laughs> will God bless you with mental illnesses? No. <laughs> will God bless you with cancer? No. Will God bless you with bad things? No. Usually when you hear the word bless, you are thinking of something good, right? Yes. So when you hear about curse or curses, you imagine bad things. Many things that happens to us is by our own doing. Why? Because you are going to reap whatever you sow. When you choose to do evil, evil is going to come back to you. When you choose to do good, good is going to come back to you. So you can say, well, Frank, you know, punched me or this person over here cheated on me and blah, blah, blah. But my question to you, hey, are you serving God? If you say no, well, why are you surprised bad things are happening to you? Why are you surprised that you are always down and, you know, you feel like you are going crazy or you are going to commit suicide and all of that crazy stuff? Why are you surprised you are feeling bad or bad things happening to you? 
why are you surprised? Makes no sense. When you choose to do evil, God is cursing you. So the best thing to do, and I continue to say this so many times, the best thing to do is read your Bible. No, first repent of your sins first by saying, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Also, what you can say, God, please help me to follow your rules and regulations much better. Okay, that is the first step. Every time when you do something wrong, you must repent. Number two, read your Bible more. And you may say, hey, Kevin, how long should I read my Bible? Well, if you can, do it each day. Now, there was a time where I was reading my Bible for about two hours a day. <clears throat> and I was doing that for about three or more months, I forget. Now, do I do that now? Do I read two hours every day now? No, because two hours is a very long time. Some people can. Some people can do it longer. The more that you can do it, the longer that you can do it, the better it is going to be for you. Makes sense, right? So, I guess you can ask me how long you should read the Bible and how long as possible, as long as possible, as often as possible. Okay, so number one, repent. Number two, read your Bible. Number three, pray. You should pray as much as possible. There was one time where I was praying three hours a day. I am not doing that anymore. Well, I have not been doing that for a while now. And I am not saying that you have to pray for three hours a day because that is really long. It is very hard to do that. But after you do it for so long, it gets easier. But still, hey, some people pray longer than that. So the same thing with reading your Bible. Do it as long as as often as possible but if you do it a little bit here and there and you continue to sin and stuff like that don't be surprised because you are not seeking God much so if you want more of God you are going to do it more so some people may say, hey, I want more of God. Why isn't God giving me more of him? Because you are not giving more of yourself to him. You have to draw near to God first. Then he is going to draw near to you. You have to seek him first. For instance, let's say that, you know, I want more whatever from God. I know what to do. I need to um, pray more, read my Bible more, and I need to fast more as well. So fasting, let me see, repent, pray, repent, read the Bible, pray, and fast. You should fast often, you know. You don't have to do a 30-day fast or a two-week fast what you can do is fast for a day once a week or two days a week. However long you want to, depending upon how much of God you really want. Makes sense, right? So, and let me say this too. As I was reading through the comments, like a certain theme kept on popping up to me selfishness like there are some people that are so selfish and if you have looked at my other videos we are not here for ourselves per se but we are here for other people so 
we should not only be looking out for ourselves, we need to be looking out for other people in any way. And let me say this, what happens to many people, not from my understanding and from the comments I have been reading and from the people that I have been speaking to, what happens, people get hurt at a very young age or let's say from two years old all the way up to perhaps 13 or something like that. They get hurt at a young age, whether it is rape or being abused or something like that, or being teased, so on and so on. So what happens, in many cases, it makes the person more hard. So those people who have been hurt react to people in more of a aggressive way in some cases. In other cases, um, these hurt people, like, they get offended by anything that comes out of your mouth. Like, you can say something really kind and nice and they are crying or really hurt or whatever else. In other cases, let me see. So they get offended, they cry. Uh, I can't think of it. But usually they get hurt at a young age and it is hard for some people to get out of it. Does that make any sense? So when that happens, those people pick up bad qualities like being selfish and rude and hateful and unforgiveness and this anger demon and all of these bad qualities pop out. And in some cases, these people may blame God or hate God, then turn to witchcraft or occultic or occultus, however you say it, stuff, they just get out of hand in, in some cases. So what I am trying to say, and please hear me out, what happened or is happening, no, what happened to you back in the past hear me out, does not matter anymore. Move on. Forgive. Look, everything for everyone that is on earth, something bad happens to us all. Myself, <laughs> insane crazy stuff and I am not saying that you know my life was worse than Jimmy's or Ann's or Sue's or Bob's and stuff like that no I am not saying that because I don't really know how many people's lives really are like I don't have a first-hand experience in their life so I can't say you know, my experiences are worse than someone else's. Does that make any sense? But my life, <laughs> crazy. And let me say this too. If I wanted to, I could still be down about the bad things that happened to me. I could be like really messed up big time. But I choose not to. I choose to give my burdens unto God. Because if you think about it, when you hold unforgiveness and all of that evil or bad things within yourself, it is hurting you more than that person or people that hurt you. It is a weight unto you, not unto them. 
you can hate a person all you want you can whatever all you want and it is killing you more than anyone else then what you do or what I did because I was hurt I went out and hurt other people which makes no sense and what you may be doing as well you may be hurting other people as well well if someone hurts me well I am going to hurt them as well or I am going to hurt other people even if they did nothing wrong to me other than healing I am going to hurt other people when they have done nothing to me and you are going to reap what you sow and that is one of many reasons more bad things are happening to you because you choose to disobey God very simple Oh, Kevin, why is this happening to me? Why is my car breaking down so much? Or why am I getting so sick all the time? Why is that happening? Why is this happening? Are you serving God? Are you following his rules and regulations? Are you doing your own will and not caring what God wants you to do? If you are, you are cursed. <laughs> it is not hard to understand so your past does not matter move on forgive stop being down over stuff that happened to you for instance man this past week crazy crazy things happened to where really bad things could have happened to me but God saved me each time and then something something else happened to me that really frustrated me and but I was like no I am not going to get angry about that like my patience was really tested like hard this past week but God saw me through So, when you choose to neglect God, <laughs> your life is going to be more chaotic by far. And, you know, I received comments from people, you know, hey, you know, when I was young, they did me wrong I don't care what you are saying Kevin and I am going to do me and you know I'm just going to you know be mean to people and shout at them and yell and do this and blah 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 you know <laughs> you are already cursed but worse things are going to continue to happen to you until you humble yourself. Now you are showing me pride. So you have unforgiveness, now pride, and so much the more. And you are saying to me, why is God allowing this and that? Sometimes we need to stop looking at other people and worry. Some people look at the bad things that other people are doing and saying, well, these people are doing this, so that means that I can do it too. Or why is God punishing me more while I do these bad things, but not punishing other people as much as me? Stop worrying about that, about the punishments of God for other people, and worry about staying saved and giving your life to God. Does that make any sense? So, I am pretty much all over the place, and hopefully... <laughs> You have learned something. <laughs> oh, boy. So, I'm telling you, 
selfishness is like the main theme I see in the many comments that are comes to me and I am happy to answer comments but I am really seeing that theme more and more and more like people are really 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 selfish really selfish and no wonder why more bad things are happening to you and what comes to my mind now if you are selfish you are going to have more bad qualities as well so selfishness is just one thing which there are others as well makes sense right I pray that this makes sense I pray that it has helped people you know at least one person a hey, if this has helped at least one person thank God <laughs> God bless